This is Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network, and this is a breaking news alert. Donald Trump's failing social media company, Truth Social, just continues to fail, and it has just been reported that the special purpose acquisition company, or the holding company that was supposed to merge with Truth Social to bring Truth Social into the public markets via the SPAC merger process, that that SPAC holding company has failed to secure the shareholder approval it needed to get an extension of time to complete the transaction with Truth Social. So in very basic layman's terms, Truth Social really has no viable path, it seems, to go public if Digital World Acquisition Company is unable to get the one-year extension which it sought. Now, it sought this extension because it is embroiled in a ton of problems. There are different uh, government investigations taking place and criminal investigations taking place and regulatory investigations taking place into everything from potential insider trading allegations against Digital World acquisition companies, investors, and whether certain investors knew about the announcement prior to Digital World Acquisition Company announcing that it was going to be merging with uh, Truth Social, which, uh, which resulted in the stock price increasing very rapidly. There's also investigations into the communications that took place between Digital World Acquisition Company and Truth Social. One of the rules of a SPAC is that the communications can't take place between the SPAC and the target, in this case, the SPAC being Digital World Acquisition Company and the target being Trump's Truth Social prior to the announcement of the SPAC. You're supposed to announce the SPAC and then try to find the target companies and bring a target company like a digital world acquisition company uh, public. This whole transaction was very bizarre, though, for SPAC observers as well, because normally in the SPAC process where a, where a SPAC like digital world acquisition company um, that is on the public markets and trying to bring a company public is bringing a company public that at least has some existence as a company. And Truth Social was basically formed after the SPAC was even created um, and after the merger was announced. There really wasn't a Truth Social that existed. It kind of existed to uh, allow a merger to take place versus merging with a company that existed. And a special purpose acquisition company, so you all know, it's basically a holding company. It's on the public markets. And it's tasked with bringing a private company public. It's another way, usually viewed as a quicker and more efficient way than an IPO to bring a private company public. But in mostly all SPAC transactions still, uh, the company that you are merging with, if you're a SPAC, has some existence as a company, has some past financials or has demonstrated some ability to earn revenue and to make a profit or have a path towards profitability and truth social simply didn't exist so it was a very odd merger to begin with and there are certain time limitations that are set forth in the timing of when a SPAC can merge with a potential target company and how soon after the announcement of a merger uh, can a transaction have before a transaction has to be closed. And given all of the problems that Truth Social is confronted and Digital World Acquisitions confronted, and given all the investigations that have taken place, um, there have been delays after delays in being able to uh, consummate the transaction. And so uh, that's why this extension was ultimately requested by Digital World Acquisition Company, and they have to get their own shareholder approval. The shareholders of Digital World Acquisition Company tend to be individuals as opposed to institutional investors because institutional investors at this stage know better than to put money into this vehicle. Um, and getting the support of over 65% of individual investors to approve an extension of time so that more time can exist to contemplate the transaction between Digital World Acquisition Company and Truth Social has just been very, very, very hard to get. And individuals are not providing their votes in favor of the extension. So what's ultimately at stake here? A lot of money. Uh, Digital World Acquisition Company, as a blank check company, has, I think, around $293 million in its trust account, which in theory, although there's 
redemption rights, which gets a little complicated. You don't get, you wouldn't get the full two hundred and ninety three million dollars, but in theory, two hundred ninety three million dollars could be invested in Truth Social. It would probably be a fraction of that, but uh, a significant cash infusion. And you may recall that in addition, uh, Truth Social and Digital World Acquisition Company tried to raise about one point three billion dollars in a private placement known as a pipe, which is a private investment in public equity of about $1.3 billion contingent on the transaction closing. So about $1.3 billion plus another $293 million is at stake, right? So about $1.4, $1.5 billion at stake uh, in this transaction, which if the transaction fails, which it appears it likely will, will not get infused into Truth Social. And we know Truth Social is already having a ton of trouble paying its bills. We know that its main uh, vendor who hosts the service hasn't been paid about $1.8 million. They've stopped getting paid by Truth Social since March. We know that Truth Social hasn't even been able to secure the trademark to the name Truth Social, in addition to all those other government investigations for potential criminal conduct engaged in by Truth Social. So the big headline here is that the merger between the uh, special purpose acquisition company and Truth Social appears to have failed, appears to be derailed, and appears that the merger is not going to happen. There are other things that could happen that could change that, but this is a sign that looks like this SPAC transaction will not be happening. This is Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the subscribe button right now. Become a member of the Midas Mighty. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged. You're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.